Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We finally did both of those spot randoms. So now we can do 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. Four box, random team number one. And you have a shot at a Superb Owl Square promo spot as well. Remember, we comboed up some of these teams right here. So the Orioles, Cubs are comboed up, and the Cardinals and Nationals are comboed up. There's all the folks who got into the break. Now, if you see one of those little things... A little rooftops next to your name. That means you won that spot in our spot random. Either spot random one or spot random two. Dave Barrows technically gets last spot mojo because picked up that last spot straight up. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list six and a four ten times. The uh, Just like break credit, the superb owl square spot will be uh, in a different dice roll at the end of the break. Six and a four ten times. Names first. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a four. Seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Dave Barrows down to Jared Morley. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got the Rangers all the way down to the Mariners. Now remember, this is 2017, so keep that in mind before you start wildly trading, if there are any trades at all. All right, so Dave with the Rangers. Eric, you got the Braves. Rex, you got the Red Sox. Mike Tower with the Pirates. Liam with the White Sox. Tony with the A's. Ricky with the Brew Crew. Daniel with the Royals. Ricky with the Reds. Dave Barrows with the Diamondbacks. Ricky with the Blue Jays. Daniel with the Giants. Giuseppe, you got my Dodgers. Javier with the Marlins. Mike Kuntz with the Yankees. Tony with the Tigers. Mike Kuntz with the Orioles and Cubs combo spot. Rex with the Strohs. Michael Kuntz with the Rays. Ronnie with the Indians. Nick Casper with the Angels. Robert with the Rockies. Tony with the Padres. Dave Barrows, last spot mojo. Phillies. Chris Parent with the Mets, Ricky Holbert with the Twins, Eric Bailey with the Cardinals, Nationals combo spot, and Jared Morling, you have the Mariners, the M's. Let's alphabetize by team. There, now keep the, uh, I dropped the link to the cardboardconnection.com checklist. Keep that in mind. You can also go to groupratechecklist.com for, uh, for a checklist organized by team. And just keep the uh, 2017 MLB draft in mind before you start trading. It's a good draft, actually. A lot of these guys, I think, have done well the first couple years of their career in the minors. Hopefully, we'll see them soon. Hopefully, we'll see them soon in the majors. That's the idea, anyway. Oh, while you're trading, it's only a half case break. So while you are considering trades, let's bust open this case. Where my knife? Oh, there it is. Let's bust open this case. Second half of this case is already in the store, so we can do that tonight too, if you'd like. So there's four on the left side, four on the right side. Let's see which die we're going to use. Uh, I like this one. All right, so one, two, three for the left four boxes, four, five, six for the right. And it's going to be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll save this for next time. So this will be, we'll write on Brendan McKay's jersey right here for break two.
And also, I don't want to forget that this is a an SB53 square promo spot right there. So at the end of the break, we'll randomize everybody's names for that one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right, TWC trade window closed. Not even a whisper of a trade. So let's print, let's rip, let's see what we got. TJ reporting that there's only the Astros left in Bowman's Best. So that might be our next break. All right, here's the final printout right there. Happy Friday, everybody. Half case number one, 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. The final printout, it's official. That makes it official. Put that list right back here. Uh, I doubt paper base ships in this, right? Yeah, no paper base ships as usual for Bowman Draft. All the supplies I need here. Good luck, everybody. Like I said, we have the second half of the case available right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com, so be sure to check that out. That should be a lot of, should be a lot of fun. I think traditionally the prices, the per box price and per case price of this old Bowman draft usually goes up year to year, especially as these these uh, these draftees start to get closer and closer to the majors. A lot of great value in this stuff. What are we looking for? Three autographs per box. Looks like we've got some Pro Bowl festivities going on here on the TV. Good luck, everybody. I don't know if some of these are numbered. Yeah, no, I don't think they are. This is numbered, though. Jose Tavares to 250 for the Phillies. We'll top load these before they get shipped out. Our shipping team will take care of that. It looks like Bowman's best is gone. So that, unless something filled before that, that'll most likely be our next break. And our first autograph is Gold Shimmer Trevor Rogers. That is for Javier, who got that spot from a spot rando. Thirty-six out of fifty on that one. Your thirteenth overall pick back in two thousand seventeen. We'll breeze through the paper. Obviously, this will ship Dalton Jeffries to 150, blue paper. That goes to the A's. That'll be for Tony.
Adam Hall to two three ninety nine. Kind of hard to see with the reflection there. To three ninety nine for the O's. And that'll go to the Orioles Cubs combo, Mike Koontz with that. And Evan White for the Mariners. Jared with the M's. There you go. You were 17th overall pick by the Mariners back in 2017. Brian Miller to 290 to 250 purple paper for the Marlins. Brendan Murphy to 99, and Casey Clemens, Rogers kid, Casey Clemens for the Blue Jays. And that'll be for Ricky Holbert. Nice, there it is. And that's your third and final autograph out of box one in random team one of 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. Ian Anderson, third overall pick back in 2016. Is he starting to make his way into the into the majors? I don't know what his story is. That'll go to the Bravos, Eric Bailey with that one. It's a silver paper to 499 for the Rangers. All right, next box. The 2017 draft class, ladies and gentlemen, see, it was a, I feel like there's a lot of high school kids in this draft. Yeah, Royce Lewis, number one overall in 2017, high school. And Hunter Green, uh, from here in California, high school. Mackenzie Gore, third overall, high school. So those guys, it takes a little bit before we, an extra year or two before we, maybe even a little bit longer to see them in the majors. Royce Lewis, is he making his way up? Hunter Green, I, Royce Lewis may be a year or two away. Hunter Green as well, Mackenzie Gore as well. Brendan McKay, the two-way player for the Rays. We might start seeing him maybe this year. That'll be interesting to see. He's from Louisville. Oh, no worries. Uh, Serta, you have the Marlins. I think you already got an autograph in box one. Hey, what's going on? Uh, you need a picture? Yeah, it's right there. Do you see it in here? Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Right. And you can use that card, too. Yeah, you can, I'll bring it in. And you can scan this guy, too, as well. Oh, you can scan this guy, too, yeah. And then, uh, is this uh, our company or your company? It's ours. Your company. Okay. All right, thanks, man. All right, good luck, everybody. Here is the next box. There 
There's Wyatt Mills to 200. And Corbin Martin for the Astros. That's for Rex. Rex, who got a spot from one of our spot randoms. There you go. Autograph for you. For this kid here. Nice. And Jake Berger. To 50. I think he was a pretty big prospect too, but I want to say that he. It's for the White Sox, Liam. I think he went down with some kind of injury, some kind of like season ending injury. He might not be back until the middle of this season. So he his, his major league progress has been delayed a little bit. There's Logan Warmoth to three ninety nine. That's for the Blue Jays. And there is David Peterson for the Mets. Goes to Chris Parent and the Metropolitans. Forty three out of one fifty. Twentieth overall pick. Should be one more autograph out of this box. This guy turned out to be all right, huh? Brennan Rogers to two fifty. You might start seeing. More Brendan Rodgers. I know the Rockies have a lot of kind of big prospects. I might start seeing some Brendan Rodgers get into the mix this season. Robert Aguilar with the Rocks. Sports Madness, what's going on? Hello and happy Australia Day. What, what do you guys do on Australia Day? It's on our calendar, too. It says Australia Day. Out of 499, Scott Kingery for the Phillies. Jeff Dorlak, what's going on? What do you guys do on Australia Day Sports Madness? What, what, kind, what kind of madness do you get into? All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, thank you, though. And there's Tanner Hawk. And Tanner Hawk goes to the Red Sox. Rex with the Red Sox as well. There you go. 24th overall pick. So late first rounder. Gabriel is in the house. Gabe saying that I'm sure Bren Rogers gets called if Arenado gets traded at some point. Is that a possibility? I know this is Arenado's last year of his contract with the Rockies, I think. Maybe the Rockies, if they don't, if they struggle to start the season. I think it's definitely possible we may see some possible possible Arenado trade. All right, next box. King D, Jazz, be doing yeah. Go big or go home, box hopper. 
Go big or go home. We decide to go big for the big game. These have been the hits so far. Ricky, you got randomized the Reds, the Brewers, the Twins, and the Blue Jays. That Casey Clemens would go to you. So for Australia Day, apparently they Sports Madness, who's from down under, saying they, he's reporting that they watch the cricket and have a barbecue. Maybe some backyard cricket. Maybe hit up the beach. That sounds pretty good. You guys fight kangaroos? Gabriel's wondering if you fight kangaroos. Jeff Dorlak saying, has everyone seen the story about Brady? No. Tom Brady? Brady Singer? Brady Quinn? Jan Brady? Brady Bunch? Brady Anderson? Okay, bro, they, they don't fight kangaroos. At least Sports Madness doesn't fight kangaroos. I mean, he is just one Australian of million, out of millions, so let's take that with a grain of salt. We've seen the videos. For the White Sox, 3 out of 99, Lincoln Hensman. There's a 10-year-old a cheater project? I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's the Royce Lewis, Ricky. Boom! Blue Wave, Royce Lewis, on-card autograph for Ricky Holbert, who got this spot in a spot random. So he didn't even pay full price for this spot. And gets a 106 out of 150, the first overall pick in 2017. Boom. Now, he, he's, a, he's a drafted out of high school, so I don't know. When's he supposed to come up? It's got to be like a year or two, right? Maybe even this year if he starts crushing. There's Freddie Peralta at a 99 for the Brew Crew. Nice. Ricky Holbert saying, yeah, he's got a couple years, but that auto graded is selling for some big dollars already. He's supposed to be the real deal. That's what I'm hearing. Out of 499, Brendan Rogers. Obviously, number one overall picks. Can often sell pretty well. I mean, I think I think he's projecting a little bit better than than another number one overall pick. Oh, not that guy, Mickey Moniak. I think he's been developing a little bit slower than people would have liked. So anyone have, what's the details on this, this Tom Brady story that Jeff is bringing up? What is that all about? Jeff's not very specific about it. Helio Ramos, that's another big prospect. Daniel Patera and the Giants, for the Giants. Eighty six out of two fifty. Oh, Jeff's got details now. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, some ten year old kid apparently uh, did a did a uh, science fair project, and he won his like city too, his district. Jose Tavares out of four ninety nine for the Phillies um, did a science fair project proving that that Tom Brady. Cheated with the deflated football, 
It's kind of cute. He he had like his his uh his folks. I think his like his parents and his siblings or something like that had them throw footballs at different levels of inflation. And scientifically proved that a deflated football travels uh, travels a little bit further. There's Will Smith, Dodgers catching prospect at a 250. Dodgers apparently in on now that they signed AJ Pollock for center field. Maybe and it looks like they're out of the the Bryce Harper and Machado sweepstakes or Machado sweepstakes, but they might try to trade for a catcher. JT Real Muto, which might mean could Will Smith go the other way? Should be expecting one more autograph out of this box. Yeah, it's a pretty good story. I, I, I read that last night. And, um, well, did you see the, Jeff, did you see the quotes from the kid? The, the, the kid's a little cocky. Like he, he, oh, nice. Zach Lothar for the O's. That's for the combo spot. Michael Koontz. Um, he, he won like his school or district science fair. And then he, when asked if he thinks that he's going to win like the next level, he's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to win it all or something like that. It was a great quote. A lot, a lot of moxie with that kid. Some uh, kid from Kentucky, I think. There's Jacob Heatherly to 250, purple paper. All right, now let's see what's in this guy here. It is 89 out of 99 for the Padres, Mackenzie Gore. Nice, nice box topper. No ink, but still a nice one nonetheless. Very cool. Padres, Tony Barkey with that one. <laughs> right, he was asked what he would say to Tom Brady if he ever met him, and the kid said, the kid said, I would ask him for money. He makes too much for a cheater anyway, or something like that. It's, it was very cute. TJ thinks that it maybe would be Kyber Ruiz instead that would get moved. Well, I figure one of those guys will get moved, right? I think that's the, that's, I mean, if the Dodgers aren't going for, if they're not going for, um, for Machado or Harper, and it looks like they're not, unless unless they sign like one year deals, which is unlikely. Um, or I don't know, with the way the market is, who knows? Uh, but I think that the next step has to be JT Real Muto either this spring or by the trading deadline. I think the NL West is not very strong at the moment, so maybe the Dodgers can kind of stay within in first of the division, and then make the big moves in the midseason, perhaps. I don't know. So the Dodgers have Corey Seager back. Julio Urias and Walker Bueller will get full seasons. Hopefully Hyunjin Ru stays healthy, puts together another healthy season. Veteran presence in Russell Martin behind the dish. So that could be, it could be interesting for the Dodgers. I'm sure there'll be other young guys coming up the ranks. There's Corbin Martin for the Strohs to 150. Some orange coming up. Orange Auto, Gavin Sheets. Ben Sheets' kid. That goes to Liam. I have no idea if he's Ben Sheets' kid. Uh, Liam Mahoney. I'm just making that up. Is he Ben Sheets' kid? No. You know what? I remember doing this joke. 
and realizing that it's actually a different major leaguer, Larry Sheets. 7 out of 25, still a nice one um, for the uh, second rounder. That goes to Liam again and the White Sox. Uh, the oranges always look always look cool. Oh, you know what? I was going to look up what's going on. Because I think the hot stove, which has been cold for a little bit, has been heating up a little bit. There's Anderson Espinosa for the Padres at a 250 purple paper. And looks like, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, the Padres are pursuing Manny Machado. Ooh, interesting. Indians re-signed Oliver Perez. Athletics signing Marco Estrada. Mets to sign Justin Wilson. Cubs to sign Brad Brack. And, of course, the, the news yesterday, um, the Dodgers... Signing AJ free agent AJ Pollock. There's David Peterson to 399. And JT Real Muto trade talks gaining momentum again between the Marlins and uh, and other organizations. There's Hans Kraus. To 399 for the Tiger, Tigers, Texas Rangers. And look, I think Bowman's best sold out first. Looks like Impeccable is down to one, according to Jarrett. And looks like TriStar 3 has sold out. So we'll go through all the orders once I'm done with this break and I put this break away. And then we'll see which filled first. And then we'll, we'll go in order and keep going tonight. Quinn Brody for the Mets. Quinn Brody going to Chris Parent. Be one more autograph, probably in that last stack there. We got Juan Hillman to 150. And MJ Melendez is your refractor autograph. The last one of the break going to Daniel Patera and the Kansas City Royals. This could be the future uh, Sal Perez replacement right here. At a 499. Nice prospect there. Now let's see if we have any more parallels before we close out this break. Remember, the second half of this is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. No spot randoms anymore, so nothing's locked away in a spot random. That is free and clear, ready to break whenever you want. Daniel Teo, 62 out of 99 for the Royals, green chrome. Got some paper right here for the Mets to 499. So a couple parallels, some nice inserts, and that, my friends, is that. That was four box random team break, uh, number one of 2017 Bowman Chrome Baseball. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an SB53 Square promo spot. So let's go back to the list. David down to Ricky. All of you have a shot at it. Let's randomize that list. Three and a four, seven times. Lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and 
Seventh and final time, name on top after seven times is... Boom! Daniel Patera, who got a spot in this break, in the spot random, ends up with the SB53 promo spot. Square spot. You got a square. Two squares, actually. So check out the details, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.